Welcome back. And today we learned, unfortunately, that Meghan Markle's father regrettably will not be attending his daughter's wedding. Instead, he will focus on his recovery from heart surgery. Still, the grand affair will take place in less than two days, and it is crunch time for everyone involved. Prince Harry and Meghan were spotted earlier today when they arrived at Windsor Castle for wedding rehearsals. Now, the couple will be married in the St. George's Chapel, where Harry was christened more than 30 years ago. Joining us right now, Her Majesty's Consul General for Florida, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, David Proger. And thank you very much Welcome. for joining us. So nice well, to have you here. Great to be here. Uh, let's start off by asking you about the title. What title will Meghan Markle take once she's married? You started with a really difficult one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. You don't know? I don't know. No, I imagine, and this is purely speculation, I imagine it'll be at least a duchess, but you never know. We'll find out on Saturday. Okay, okay. Keeping, it, uh, keeping us in suspense. Yeah, there's lots of things uh, you don't know still. So obviously there's worldwide attention on this wedding. It's captivated uh, people all over the world. What is that doing to the economy in Britain and uh, the tourism coming in? Yeah, well, I mean, the royal family is fantastic for our economy. Um, they're fantastic, period. I mean, it's not just from an economic <laughs> perspective. Um, they're going to have, a, they reckon, 100,000 people in Windsor, just the members of the public to be there. This has caught the imagination uh, incredibly, world over. I mean, especially down here in South Florida, people are, are really lapping it up. So it's going to be big. Um, you know, you look at the projections, you, I think a lot will depend on the kind of clothes she wear, who's her design is going to be. That's all going to have an impact. We're already seeing the Harry and Meghan effect on that side as well. Now, is the consulate here in South Florida having any kind of special viewing party? Because there's a big expat community here from the UK in South Florida. Yeah, there is. And I don't think we could compete with that because Brits are everywhere in South Florida. <laughs> so they'll be doing their own thing in the pubs and bars and at home. And uh, we won't compete with that, but we will be marking it in our own special way. I have a question as an American. How, who pays for this royal wedding? I'm, I'm a dad. I paid for my daughter's royal wedding. <laughs> is it the royal family or is it the taxpayers in the United Kingdom? Yeah, I, well, if you're going to get 600 along, good luck. It's, uh, <laughs> the family pay for it. Um, but obviously the state has to pick up the tab for things like security, I mean, which is going to be a massive deal. I mean, in the UK, we, we love our, uh, to have access to our royal family, so there'll be a big open carriage ride through Windsor. Uh, and obviously we need to take security very seriously, which it will be. But it's, it's a family affair. So uh, going into this, after they get married, what, what is the process for deciding what their duties will be and what uh, you know, the rest of the members of the royal family's duties will be? Well, I think we're talking about uh, a couple who will become the world's power couple. Um, you know, both Harry and Meghan have got their own interests. They'll pursue those. I mean, Harry's very engaged on things like veterans' fairs. Uh, Invictus was here in Florida just two years ago. Yeah. Um, youth affairs, mental health, which tomorrow's Mental Health Day again, that's a big concern of his. Uh, and Megan, in her own right, has been doing a lot of work through her own causes. So whether that's for children's welfare or women's rights through the, uh, through the UN and, and gender equality. So I think they will carry on with those platforms and they'll, together they will have a fantastic platform. Now to it's it. Harry's brother who is in line for the throne uh, after Prince Charles, their father. But it seems as though Harry and Meghan are sort of overshadowing uh, William and Kate a little bit. Is that just because of the wedding that's coming up and, uh, and, and then after the wedding it'll all sort of everything will all fall in place or how do you see this? Well William and Catherine had a, a new addition to their family only a couple of weeks ago, so there was an awful lot of interest on, on Prince Louis. So uh, I think tomorrow is really about, obviously, Harry and, and Meghan, or oh, it's rather Saturday about Harry and Meghan. Uh, and they, they have been a fantastic uh, uh, advocates for the UK, uh, both, both Prince William and Prince Harry, and of course, Princess Catherine. They'll continue doing so. I don't see competition there. It's just going to be great for us and for, for, for Brits everywhere. It, it's going to be such a spectacular event on, on Saturday. The world is going to be watching. What do you think this will mean for the image of the monarchy in, British, in, in Great Britain moving forward? I think. I, what, I, what I really like talking about with this uh, uh, wedding on Saturday is that it is a modern marriage uh, and it represents what the UK is now. So Meghan coming in from the US, you know, Harry obviously with all the tradition that comes with being part of the royal family, it's a fantastic fusion and that is what we as Brits are. You know, we are a country which is a very, very vibrant and diverse culture and population and, and they represent that. So. 
So no resistance or any kind of backlash about no, that? No, I think everybody is, is really looking forward to it. It's and now with an American day. marrying into the royal family, is there any concern that we're sort of infiltrating, that we're going we're gonna to try to make some, <laughs> some inroads at we're the castle? Take them over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a symptom of a relationship that's already special. It's just going to be even more special. What a diplomatic answer that was. Uh, so in lieu of gifts, they've asked for charitable donations yeah. to some of the, the charities that mean a lot to them. What does that reveal about them and who they are and the, the image they're going to carve out for themselves? I, th I think it reveals a lot about who they are. You know, Megan is a very successful, independent woman. Uh, she's been incredibly successful with her career, uh, and she wants to give back, as, as Harry has already spent his life doing. So uh, Harry's has been nominated as an ambassador uh, for the Commonwealth, for the youth. You know, that's 2.6 billion people. 60% of whom are under the age of 30, and with two ambassadors like that working for you, you couldn't be in better hands. You know what would be really nice? A, a royal family visit to South Florida. What are the chances that might happen? <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> Can you make that happen? Uh, You're the consul general? I'll do my yeah. best. As I say, Harry was here only a couple of, a couple of years ago, so we'll, we'll keep working on it. And more yeah. specifically here to CBS. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. David Proger <laughs> is <laughs> Her Majesty's consul general, and we're so glad that you were able to join us tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Great to be Until here. Until I go to bed early Friday night. Yeah, yeah, early Saturday. Saturday. Right. All right. Thank you, David. And grab your tea for royal wedding coverage on Saturday. <laughs> CBS News coverage featuring Gail King and Kevin Frazier begins at 4 a.m. If you're not home, don't worry. We'll be streaming the wedding on CBSMiami.com and on our CBS Miami Facebook and Twitter pages, as well as our YouTube channel.